Hello everybody, welcome to the Stand Firm card for Friday the 8th, coming up. Um, I'm here, I'm Jim Smith-Man, with me is Gorilla Mezzo, hello. Hello. And the opening match should be the main event in my opinion. A one -on -one should be the main event of a pay-per-view in my opinion. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Should be a pay per view main event. It my should opinion. be, yeah, yeah. The two well, of we're the giving biggest... away free, and that is Scaramezzo versus Jimmy Fantastic in a one on one last man standing match. Jimmy will not have help from Table Leg Wanger on the outside. Uh, this is going to be a hell of a match, Jim. What do you think? Oh, he's, he, I don't think he's going to need it. I mean, but it's, <laughs> it is a hell of a match, yeah, an absolute hell of a matchup. These two are the top talents in the company. And, I, uh, I mean, I, I entirely agree with you there, and I definitely think as long as Skrull can remember that the match starts right when it starts, <laughs> we're in for a doozy. If he doesn't show, he doesn't show. You know, we'll see how it goes. But, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I, 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 think, I think this rivalry is still just heating up. And this is uh, going to be a, a match we talk about for a long time. Absolutely. And then uh, second on the card is... <laughs> One of those times when they put in two rivals to see if they can work together. And it's Fash and Space Cadet. Um, I couldn't see if they can work together to defeat the new, newly formed tag team of Lemon is Good and Fan Fox dressed for business. Yeah, and dressed for business is coming off a loss on Wednesday night in their debut. Uh, a pretty bad loss, too. A count out loss uh, with the veteran Lemon just dazed on the outside with no help from his uh, partner. Got to see more from them if they want to go anywhere in the tag division. But they are up against two uh, two bitter rivals at this point. One of the longest standing rivalries in JFW, Space Cadet and Fash, really got to show that they can play together. And you know we've seen it in the past. Every time we come into these matches, we expect uh, you know we expect the fireworks to start early and then uh, end the match for uh, for those two. But you know our last two rivals tagged up together and got the win. So. This is an interesting one. Yeah, anything anything could happen in that, for sure. And now we have a rando match, one-on-one, -on -one, between <laughs> Tony Plays Poorly and Golden Fagger. I think we've only seen yeah, Golden Fagger backstage scrapping with Skuro so far. Yeah, getting his ass beat into oblivion by Skuro. I agree, Jim. That was one hell of a beatdown by Skuro. Well for said by sake, you. Tony. Uh, but Tony Stop plays poorly, shit. has his entire team in his corner. And, uh, you know, this I, I, Golden Fagor not known for the submission move, so this could be a pretty, pretty exciting match, or it could just be one of those uh, matches we forget the result of five minutes after it ends. Yeah, yeah my, my money's on the on the latter. <laughs> <laughs> <Yep. laughs> but following that is the Ghoulface Killer, the, the Plim Plum Plus Weight Champion, versus Moridam, the number one contender. Yeah, and Mor Moridam coming off of a loss on Wednesday night to a, uh, a, a, a much larger man outclassing him in the Kurgle. Uh, really unsure why he signed, uh, signed on for that match. Coming back down to fight in his weight class should be uh, should be a real good thing for him. And winning this match, uh, I believe he already has a victory over Ghoulface Killer, if I'm not mistaken. I believe he does. Um, yeah, yeah, that could be. A, I mean, that could be. You know, the, like that could be a a, a, a solid point uh, in his favor for getting a title shot in a couple weeks. Yes, absolutely. Yes, the uh, of course extreme rules on the horizon now, and. Uh... After that, it's a steel cage match between Muppet, Pac-Man, and Humorous Chimp. Yeah, you know, Muppet, Pac-Man, uh, and Humorous Chimp, both uh, fan favorites. <laughs> kind Should of. Be fun. They're both high flyers, you know? They've got, they've got <laughs> yeah. crazy moves. Yeah, you know, the steel cage matches go one of two ways, and it's usually not the way you want it to go. Uh, so... Um, should be an interesting one to say the least. I'm not. I think uh, this match favors humorous chimp though, because Muppet Pac-Man will not be able to pull off the six one nine with the cage around the ropes. Yes, very good point. Very good point, Skuro and um, Gorilla. <laughs> and then, then uh, this is the main event: a triple threat between bleeding. That's not Hippie. the main. Oh, it is the main event. I'm sorry. Yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, between bleeding hippie, backdoor Billy, and Ripper Duck. 
Backdoor Billy and Ripper Doc are two new guys to the division, and uh, both cruiserweights as well. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what they've got to offer. Yeah, and uh, Bleeding Hippie coming off of a win in uh, on on Wednesday night, uh, looking to dominate. You know, being a triple threat is never a good spot to be in, and being against two opponents you've never seen wrestle before, that's asking a lot. But, you know, he comes out on top of this against two newcomers, and uh, he's got to be feeling pretty good about his uh, shot at a title. Yep. And uh, the show closer promo is a call-out from Adonta Kellis. Yeah, no one knows who Adonta is planning to call out. Very exciting stuff. The champion has not had a long-lasting feud since winning the title. Um, really, Tony, Tony gave up on trying to come back for it, so... We're all ears to see what Odonta Kellis has to say and uh, who he might be calling out. That might give us a bit of a glimpse as to uh, our next title match for the World uh, Championship. Yeah, yeah. It's in, in about 10 days, isn't it? Uh, it'll be. Yeah, 10 days' time. The uh, extreme rules. So, right. Thank well, you. Well, that's assuming you're watching this video clip on the same day that we're recording it, but yes. Well, when we're saying it, it's 10 days from, <laughs> from when I'm saying it. God damn it. <laughs> the 17th. <laughs> Nailing it, Jim. All right. Well, that looks like our Friday night stand firm. I'm excited for it, Jim. Hope you are too. <laughs> yes, I am very excited. Thank you very much, Gorilla Metso. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.